Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yes, back to talk about a new release from Lionsgate, uh, which has been sent over to me from the lovely guys at Alternate Current PR uh, to uh, talk about and unbox and talk about the picture and special features and things like that. It is Clerks 3. Yes, Kevin Smith is back with the conclusion of his Clerks trilogy. So let's talk about it. Okay, so I got a chance to watch this a couple of nights ago. Uh, now, I'm a big fan of the original Clerks, uh, shot in black and white, all about these two guys, Dante and Randall, who run the Quick Stop grocery store and adjacent VHS rental store. And it's all about their antics, about the daily life, the customers that come in, uh, people that give them a hard time, uh, and occasionally they play on the roof, they play some hockey on the roof. Uh, and of course, outside you get the you get the usual Jay and Silent Bob just selling some weed like you usually do. But uh, that's the first film. Um, the second film, um, I've only seen smidgens of the second film, so I really need to watch that one. But uh, I did watch the third film and I can see where I'm missing the middle connection. Uh, because Rosie, Rosario Dawson was in the second film uh, and it was all based around a different location, uh, like a fast food joint, I believe. Uh, but uh, I've ordered that now, so I will be getting a copy of Clerks 2. But as for Clerks 3, I think it's a really fitting conclusion to the series. Really, I do. Yeah. Uh, it kind of retreads the original. So you've got the the, the two original characters back again you can see how they've aged since the first film came out in the 90s uh they're still working there uh, although uh, i believe dante's like part ownership of the actual grocery store now uh the the vhs store next door has kind of evolved so it's it, obviously it's not a vhs store anymore because they wouldn't do much business and again it's about their daily lives uh, and unfortunately, uh, poor old uh, poor old Randall there suffers a heart attack in the store, gets sent to uh, the hospital, and when he comes out, he realizes that he hasn't done anything with his life. You know, he's worked in a store for the last forty years or so, and he thinks that he can make a film. So he decides to grab a couple of friends and some customers, rope them into co-starring in this film, and basically he's going to make a film about his daily life in the grocery store uh, and what we get is basically him making the film of clerks the original film and uh, i love how they intertwine like you know the black and white it's filmed in black and white we get the familiar scenes from the first film and it just works so well it it just works so well and the, the film is also mainly about their friendship whether they've been holding each other back or um, tragedy that happened in the second film, which I only found out about in the third film, um, having not seen the second film, unfortunately. Um, but uh, this was still a really enjoyable film. Believe it or not, it's actually quite emotional towards the end of the film. Uh, and I actually did shed a tear or two. I know, it's not a film that I would imagine that I would get emotional about but I think because I've only recently seen the first film and I've got a connection with these characters I really enjoyed the characters and um it kind of it kind of impacted and it kind of it kind of affected me so um yeah um as for the package itself uh, it comes with a lovely slip cover as you can see uh, we have a blu-ray up the top there Plus we have the title and a nice familiar image there of the actual grocery store. We've got Jay and Silent Bob peering in over the window there. And then on the spine, we have a nice Clerks 3 logo. We have the, uh, the Lionsgate logo there and also the Blu-ray bit down the bottom. And then on the back, we've got a bit of a synopsis about the film. Uh, we have all the specifications down here, plus also some special features as well. Um, now, first of all, before we get to the special features, I'm going to talk about the picture and the sound quality. 
the picture quality was absolutely superb. Whereas the first film was shot in uh, black and white and it is very grainy. You know, it's made to look like maybe a, a, um, a Super 8 camera. You know, very grainy. Uh, this film is pinpoint sharp. Absolute sharpness. It's like almost on digital. Very clean. Um, and it just looks great. But when they do recreate the scenes from the first film when when they film it in black and white that's grain so it does blend in you know really well with the first film uh so the picture quality was fantastic the sound is in dolby atmos uh great soundtrack not too much going on obviously with the overheads and things like that but when they played the good you know some rock music really thumped up and you know the the subwoofer the it was loud it was loud yeah, so picture and sound quality, absolutely fantastic. Uh, as for the special features, we've got an audio commentary with writer-director Kevin Smith and the actors Brian O'Halloran uh, and Jeff uh, Anderson. Uh, we have Trevor... Sorry, Trevor... Tayman and Austin... Oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit small to read, I can't... Zajir, I think. Something like that, yeah. Uh, the Clerks 3 documentary. Uh, we're not even... We're not even supposed to be here. Uh, three decades of Clerks documentary. Deleted scenes and alternate scenes and a theatrical trailer. So there's all the special features there. So let's have a look inside. As I say, we get a really nice slip cover. So that's really nice. And then we get the same artwork on the disc there you know on the uh, the cover plus also we get some nice artwork inside so yeah it's a 15 certificate and uh, i love the tagline at the bottom <laughs> they're too old for this shift <laughs> yeah so yeah really enjoyed the film uh it's definitely going to be a keeper uh, i look forward to watching it again one day um i might do a marathon eventually just all three films back to back but uh, I'm looking forward to actually finally watching the whole uh, of the second film because I believe in movies, I believe it's all set around this fictitious um, fast food joint called movies. So, yeah, um, looking forward to watching that. But as I say, I've ordered that. So this comes from Lionsgate. Uh, it's available on digital on the 14th of November, so already out on digital and available on Blu-ray and DVD from the 26th of December. So basically Boxing Day it was available and it's from Lionsgate. So there we go. So that is my little review and uh, unboxing of Clerks 3. So as I say, many thanks to the guys over at Alternate uh, Current for sending that over to me to, to take a look at and test. Um, if you're a fan of the Kevin Smith films, whether it be Giant Silent Bob, Clerks, you know, Chasing Amy, Dogma, uh, all that type of stuff, uh, Giant, Giant uh, Silent Bob Strike Back, then it's definitely a film that you want to pick up and put in your collection. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share, and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye!